Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and I'm back to share some cards that I've created. I created four cards and they are all using the Tea Party paper stack from Michaels and they are all in the same uh, shabby chic theme. They are using pretty much the same papers. Um, I've changed it up just a little bit but they're very much the same but very much different and unique in their own way. I've made them all very layered and that is the look that I'm so in love with. Tons of layering, tons of different laces, crochet doilies, uh, vintage uh, music sheet paper, and just um, bits and pieces, things that don't necessarily have to be matchy-matchy, just whatever I feel like adding to um, my card. So first of all, I'm gonna share with you the largest one that I created. And this one is seven, th seven and three quarters by six and a half. This one here I had created from uh, some chipboard that I had gotten at my work. And uh, again, I use the Tea Party paper collection. And this is just a piece from the collection, one of the tags. And I used my Spellbinders dies and uh, layered it here with two different pieces. I used vintage uh, music sheet paper in the background here. I used some um, lace from Natasha's scrapbook corner. This gorgeous, gorgeous lace right here. I've used this gorgeous uh, pearl and uh, rhinestone trim from Natasha's scrapbook corner. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is a must. I've used a lot of texture paste and I've used some um, Heidi Swap uh, gold shimmer spray. I've used some pearl sprays up here in the corner which I purchased from Glitz and More and you'll see a few of those within the different cards that I created. Um, and like I said just tons of layering. So this is how the first card looks and I'm gonna give you a look at the top here. You can see all the layers here very very beautiful the doilies I've used several different doilies on this card in throughout the layers and sometimes I just cut the doilies in half since most of them are going to just be tucked down below in the layers that way I don't waste them I've used I'm going to get a little closer here I've used a uh, crepe paper to add some interest here some pink crepe paper it's really cute with the texture paste on it gives it a really cute little look and yeah this is pretty much the card uh, the other touch that I did to this card is this gorgeous I'm gonna set this back down here sorry you guys this gorgeous uh, trim here it is so so beautiful I actually got this from um, a crocheted uh, I'm sorry, a, a vintage handkerchief that I purchased from a thrift store. And this was all around the edging of the handkerchief. And I just cut it away from the center part of the handkerchief and um, attached it to my card here. And I love the way this looks. It's so vintage. Uh, flowers from Recollections and um, just let, lots of layers. Some of this lace that I have here, I got at thrift stores like this here and inside the card is very simple. I have not stamped anything or written my message yet, but that's just another piece from the collection and the back looks like this. So that is my first card. I'm gonna move on to the next card. And like I said, they're all pretty much the same, but different. Uh, this one here, again, using the same technique. I'm gonna get a little closer here tons of layers. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous trim back here that my cousin gifted me. It's very dainty. I just love that. It's very beautiful. I'm sorry my phone is not focusing, staying focused. Um, and then all these different little layers here, crochet doilies, this little uh, butterfly from Michaels from the dollar spot. Uh, these, this rolled flowers from the dollar spot. This is a uh, Another flower from the dollar spot. 
all of these flowers actually are from the dollar spot. And then this doily here I had in my stash. It's a paper doily. This is a little tag from the collection. I've also went ahead and did some stenciling here with some texture paste. And this is a stencil that I bought from Saw Crafters and it's a friendship stencil. It's really, really gorgeous. It's kind of, it's really not picking it up too well here, but um, and then there you can see some of it and tons of texture paste all throughout doilies over here and um, a bling piece that I purchased from Glitz and More, the double hearts. Uh, the bottom looks like this, several layers using the corrugated uh, card base and more layers on the side and the back just simply is plain and I have not filled the inside of the card out yet so I'll just leave it like that. Um, another thing too is I usually will add, I don't know where this one is, but I will add little bling pieces or pearl pieces and put texture paste on them and add those throughout as well. So that is card number two. Card number three looks like this. Sorry about the glare. It says you are my cup of tea. And I've got this gorgeous angel here that I have uh, put a ton of texture paste on, gesso. And then I have also, I don't know if it's picking up the texture here, but um, gosh, I'm so sorry. Please focus. It's got a ton of texture to it. And I've also put some uh, paint two different colors of paint on here. Let me get back a little. Two different colors of paint to give it more of a an aged look to it. I've got some uh, trims here from Natasha's Scrapbook Corner and I've created this tag here and embossed it and popped it up on Pop Dots. Got some more of these pearls sprays. I'm trying to talk really fast. There is an applique that I purchased from Julie the Paper Bag Lady that I've had in my stash for a very long time that I tucked in there. Some laces that I purchased from Goodwill. This piece here is from Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. It's one of her trims. I just love that and I just cut off one little piece and used it there kind of as a little accent in the back. There's a little pearl piece with texture paste and one of the recollection doilies from Michaels. Uh, tons of doilies. I have also cut, fussy cut out some roses from the uh, paper and popped those up and have them peeking out of the back of the card and peeking on the side of the card over here. Got these uh, dollar spot uh, car flowers. I'm so sorry guys. And I have also got this gorgeous, gorgeous gold bling piece that I purchased from Glitz and More. It is so beautiful, so blingy and goes really well with the gold uh, script writing on the card. And that is what this card looks like. And in the inside, I've created a personal message on this little tag and fussy cut out this little teacup and um, adhered it so I could put my tag in there. And it says a friendship that lasts forever and put some uh, embossing powder around the edge. That is card number three and card number four four, oops, just fell down. Card number four is this style here. Tons of layering, tons of um, texture paste. I've got the Recollections doily. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous piece here from Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. I just love so much. Oh, these are so beautiful, you guys. Um, as a leaf and a recollections flower. I've got another one of those cherubs that I've textured up and put gesso on. More, tons more laces from Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. Tons of bits and pieces of laces just tucked here and there. The pearl sprays, more layers. I've got some more little pearl pieces here poking out with texture paste on them. And um, I've also ran a piece of um, 
crepe paper again from top to bottom on this card and then layered the lace over the top and it just gives it a little extra something to look at. So this is my card and a little gold doily peeking out a Martha Stewart butterfly and um, some little uh, mesh trim in a pink color there and lots of layers, doilies. That's what that looks like. And in the inside, I have just created um, just a double layer from the paper collection and I've crumpled it up to give it a worn look, put some lace and a tag there to write my message. And the back just simply looks like this. So those are my cards that I have to share with you guys. I hope you love them as much as I do. I love Shabby Chic, I'm so in love with this paper. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. Have a great night guys and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.